Welcome to Coding Lessons by me, Ishaar Khan. Now let's, let's begin. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. My name is, I am Ishaan. I will be your coding instructor. Are you excited? Who's excited? I hope you enjoy as much as I enjoyed writing this. There are some rules also. You must raise your hand when you need to speak. Mute your mic till I ask you to unmute. And finally, please write your real name so I can know uh, who am I talking to. I do hope you enjoy. And, and let's just move on. Coding is the way that people communicate with machines like computers and to make mobile, mobile apps, softwares and more like hardware, software, apps. First, what is Scratch? This is a type of pro programming you can do using with different blocks. It is easy for kids because you have to just drag and drop the blocks on your workspace to make games, projects and more. For example, Minecraft is also a coding scratch. So this is a scratch connector. Importance of learning coding. There's some importances of learning coding. For example, by coding skills, you can make games. For can I click it? Okay. When when you see this screen, which is on, which uh, you could see, can everyone see my screen? It's okay. 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 you see all of this this cat you can move it around you click it and then look the cat you can move the cat around just don't put it here otherwise it'll just go here this these characters whenever I want to do for example I want 500 okay it can be very small or it could be very big, but always it starts out as 100. These little characters in the, spra the scratch are called sprites. The name of the sprite is written here, sprite, sprite one. And the, I already showed you the size, see? The size is not limited. Okay, the size is limited. 535, see, 700. 535 is the limited one. So Direction. Look. This is how you turn it around. Wee wee. But always remember what size he started out at, and always remember it's all, it's always going to be 90. So now, these are x's and y's. X's are like this see exchanged and y's are up and down look look this is and if you want to delete your sprite you have to click this little trash can look with the x on it see nothing's there you click you click this, look, you just I'll be choosing this one. See, this is a person. Those who are mics are unmuted, please, please mute your mics. Okay. I don't like my sprite. Look, 
over here we're go we're going to learn sounds a little later but right now look costumes sometimes in some sprites look there's so many and if there's too many there's also a drag button over here there's even more i'm going to go with this one and if and if there is none click all of these buttons i mostly use this one so i can just fill it and then you can for example i'm going to use pink and then you can color all uh, all of the accessories see if you don't like any of them you can just take a random sprite and just customize it and have fun with it now we're going to learn the backgrounds to the backdrop this we side of the section the first block type of block we're going to use is the yellow one which you can see over here events we're going to use the we're going to right now we're going to use motion looks and events these all are blocks the first block we're going to be using is the yellow ones which are events we're not going to use any of these today today we're going to use when flat click because it's most common used in projects on scratch so can everyone take this block on their own screen I started out with this one but then i switched it look there's so many to choose from only sometimes so many characters come in just one one sprite but if you don't like here the cat and the plus then you have to click this circle and line if you don't like any of the sprites look you can just click the fill button and then you have to choose your uh, color from here and brightness you can choose from here saturation also and then you can just customize it look see i changed her pants color and at the beginning i changed her shirt color you want the motion blocks Take the first block, move ten steps. You can change the amount of the steps she moves, like twenty. So now, now that we're done with this small code, you can press the flag. Look, she moves. My sprite moves. But if she doesn't come back, you can just, you know, or you could just change the X. For example, look, I. she's out of my reach so what do i do look i would usually press the she so she will come in the middle see she just came in the middle so i won't have to just delete my sprite bring it again customize it again so you could just also move the x's and y's from here see you can totally customize the amount of steps she moves but i know i will just keep it at the usual amount 10 uh did everyone add the move 10 steps block look if i want her to move with this dress that cannot happen see she will not even she cannot even go with the dress so please do not do this otherwise the dress will just come off just go to costumes and just cos customize it with these buttons now back to this now the final block for today is do it file save to your computer so so i just have made a new one real quick okay so now i'm just gonna Now for our final block, the looks. Just to complete the motion blocks, you can also do turn, which can be also be done from here. See, but always remember which size your sprite uh, came out from, because then you would just end up with your sprite very tilted. So there's tilt fifteen degrees to do both directions, and the rest we're just gonna learn later. But just remember these three blocks: the event, flag, clip, 
and that's all right now we're gonna learn looks now say hello for two seconds you can add that anywhere you want you can also remove the blocks you can do that look she says hello but right now you can just don't pick this one because then if you do that she will keep on saying hello when she moves you can also tell how much she should say hello like six seconds She then she's waiting. See six seconds, but it's better if you do hello after move ten step steps. Now that I have teached you all of these blocks, I want all of you to make your own projects, and then when we then when. Uh, your own project with all these different techniques. I will show you one of mine. Okay. If you have any questions, ask me. So uh, right now we are just going to uh, have just a few more minutes before I will end this session.